Hello, this is Watch It All About uh, with another video review. This time we're looking at the Christopher Ward C61 Trident, which, uh, as you may know, is the 38mm version of their most popular diving watch, the C60 Trident, which is 42mm. So uh, the, the 4mm difference uh, really does make quite a bit of difference in, in size, uh, weight, uh, and also the appearance on the wrist. So um, we'll be having a, a review uh, of the C61 to see uh, if it is worth the £450 price tag. Okay, so first of all, let's start at the top. <clears throat> On top of the case is a 4.5mm sapphire crystal, which is uh, extremely thick and it gives a really satisfying thud when you uh, tap it. If you look at the side, you'll notice that it is uh, slightly raised above the bezel as well uh, and completely flat. Uh, but it is really nicely made and really clear. On the underside, it has a, a really good coating of anti-reflective coating as well. It is actually better than uh, the C60 Trident, so they must have changed uh, changed the, the coating. Uh, so either they've got it from a different manufacturer or if it's just because it's a smaller uh, crystal, I don't know. But uh, it does uh, does work well and it gives the uh, the the crystal nice uh, visib uh, the, the dial good visibility. So surrounding the, um, uh, the, the crystal is the bezel. Uh, in the uh, classic style to uh, the Trident range, we have uh, quite a, a Rolex um, style. So we got uh, first 15 minutes, uh, a, a baton in every five minutes, and then dots for every uh, minute in between that. And then we have the uh, uh, numbers in every 10 minutes, and uh, dashes in between as well with a uh, loom pip at 12 uh, within a uh, triangle uh, the grip surrounding the bezel is a uh, is really good grip actually it's not sharp but it gives you just enough to be able to get a decent hold on it I have noticed though that the um, uh, that the bezel is quite stiff uh, I don't know whether it'll uh, loosen up underwater or not but uh, but for now uh, it is uh, quite hard to actually um, to turn it. I'll give it a go. There we go. Oh, it's loosened up a bit. So once you've got it going, it, it loosens up quite nicely. So that's that's not too bad at least. Okay, so um, moving on to the, the dial. Uh, as you can see, it has a, a classic Omega Seamaster wave uh, style to it. Uh, obviously, uh, that's on the original Trident C60, so they've put it on the C61. Uh, it really is a nice texture uh, and when you catch the light just right uh, it does give the, the, the face lovely depths and uh, it makes it look really good you can see there the waves are immaculately done no um, no issues or, or anything like that as you'd expect uh, the, there's lots of little tiny uh, uh, bits and pieces here and there features which makes the the watch really stand out to me so on the on the dial Obviously, the, the texture itself, but also everything supplied apart from the, the printing. So I love the um, uh, the hour markers, uh, the the round hour markers, and also the batons. Also, I love the uh, the date window, which is a, a little chrome frame around the date window, which again is probably uh, took a little bit of time and effort in getting that perfect, but it, it's a lovely little extra, and I really like it. it just makes uh, these little things make it really worthwhile, I think. Uh, the um, the hands, classic uh, uh, Trident uh, style. So we've got a nice big onion hand for the hour hand and then a thick sword for the minute hand and then the uh, the, the Trident for the second hand, which again is a, a great design cue for, for the name of the model. You'll notice on the C61 as well, we have a nice long red tip on the second hand, which is longer than on the... Uh, uh, the C60, which I actually prefer because it lines up quite nicely with the um, the baton uh, 15 minute markers as you can see there. So that's a that's a nice bit of designing uh, as well, and also it, it gives the the um, gives the dial a, an extra splash of colour, which it which it obviously uh, welcomes very much because it's nice to have a, a little bit of colour in there. So the, the dial itself is immaculately done. All the printing, as you'd expect, is perfect. We'll have a closer look later on with the, uh, with the macro lens, but uh, it, it really is a lovely dial.
Okay, so let's move on to the case itself. So you'll notice uh, we have our crown uh, with uh, some crown guards protruding to about half the depths of the crown. We have the Christopher Ward CW logo embossed on the end of the crown as well, which is very well done. You can see it there. Uh, the grip isn't too, too uh, good on, on this crown. Because they've downsized from the C60, they've also reduced the size of the grip. So it is a little bit, it's not, it's not that bad, but it is a little bit harder to unscrew the crown than, uh, than the C60. And then if, obviously, you pop it out. And you can see, see there, it's the screwing crown. Uh, the um, thread is perfect. You, you know, you're not gonna, not gonna cross thread it or anything like that. So that's good. Uh, the, the case itself is immaculately machined, so we have a nice brushed finish along the sides, and then the top and the bottom uh, is all polished as well. So this, uh, this variety of finishing, is uh, is, is really nice. Um, uh, it gives it a good uh, appearance in in various lights. It, you know, the different parts of the um, of the case ref reflect the light in different ways. So that uh, makes it makes it look pretty good when the light hits it. So that's nice. Moving to the uh, case back on the underside, uh, we have a, a trident uh, icon embossed in the middle. Let me just wipe this down. With some Latin. And also Swiss made and the uh, uh, the number there. It's a screw in case back. You see these uh, holes to uh, get the tool in. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually a look quite deep. It protrudes out from the bottom of the case. Uh, it's all, all very well done. It, this could be a little bit deeper, but it's not really something worth complaining um, complaining about. So um, one thing which um, the, the, the Trident does really well is sit, sit on the wrist, and that's mainly because these lugs are very, uh, the shape of them is a very nice downturn, which results in um, going around the wrist in a, in a very nice, comfortable manner. You can see it from on the other side as well. It's a good design cue there, uh, so, so that's good. Uh, the uh, strap, this is, this is the leather strap version. It's a 20 mil wide strap. Uh, the, the classic Christopher Ward leather, which is really nice and supple and really soft, high quality leather. The underside is really nice, uh, feels really good on the skin. Uh, this is actually um, a little bit of, of a shinier finish to it than the, the C60. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, it's just uh, something different to uh, worth noting. And they've got some thin loops here, again made of high quality leather. Uh, the um, butterfly clasp is the usual Christopher Ward uh, butterfly clasp, very high quality. Um, and I, in all my years of wearing various Christopher Wards, I've never had one pop open on me, so they are very secure as well. So, as you can see, you'll close it like that and then just push the two buttons and it all clicks, clicks together. And then that's secure. On the top we have polished polished buckle with the CW logo uh, etched in the, on the end as well. So to release it you just push the two buttons like that and it opens up. So that's it's a, it's a very nice design and it, it does a, a really really great job. Okay so let me put the uh, macro lens on and we'll have a closer look. Okay so let's start looking at the uh, dial. So here's the date window I mentioned before. Very nice um, chrome surround to it. A lot of thought and effort was put into that. And then we have the hour markers. There's a baton and a circular hour marker. Again all immaculately done. The, um, the wave pattern looks great as well as you can see and there's the red tip on the second hand let's have a look at the hands now then so there's the bottom of the trident the counterbalance the onion hand 
and sword hand, everything perfectly and immaculately done as you'd expect for watch at this price and the, the printing is really high quality as well. Swiss made. And the minute track around it. These little blobs along the minute track are actually loomed blobs. Uh, the loom um, is average. It's uh, unfortunately one of Chris Ford's weak weak points. The loom. Um, so yes, here's the bezel. It's the pip at twelve, and we have this edging around the edge for the grip. The crown. With the CW emboss on the end. We'll just unscrew the crown so we can look at the the thread. There we go. You can see there it's really high quality and well machined. Okay. Screw that back up. See the lugs as well. They're nice angles, looking good. Okay, so let's turn it over and just have a look at the case back. Here we go. So you can see there that it would be nicer if the uh, engraving was a little bit deeper. But it's not too bad. Then let's just move on to the uh, the leather strap. So here's the top. Some black stitching along the edge. High quality stitching, which is good. The underside really soft. And then just the uh, uh, the buckle as well. So here's the etching on the the top of the buckle. And then the buckle itself. Have a look at the mechanism. So that's when you see them. They both hook hook onto this bit on the underside of the strap, that's one end, and then this bit on the other end of the strap. The strap in itself is obviously all uh, very high quality and, and very comfortable. So, uh, so there we go. Okay, so. What do I think about the uh, the C sixty one? Although the the price tag is quite high at four hundred and fifty pounds, it is a Swiss made automatic, and the specs are very impressive. Um, and it's just really well made and looks astonishing. I think when you've got it on the wrist, it, it really does demand a lot of attention. Uh, has a lot of wrist presence as well, and is really comfortable. And you can just tell that it's high quality. Um, so. I am always willing to um, recommend and suggest the the Trident to anybody who uh, who is after a, uh, an affordable dive watch. So, so yes, I do think um, that it's worthwhile, especially now that the uh, C sixty uh, C sixty one uh, is uh, is available. This one, obviously, uh, being four millimeters smaller, fits perfectly on on uh, many more wrists uh, than the uh, the, the C sixty. Because of it being a uh, slightly, slightly smaller diameter, so it is, it is very comfortable uh, to wear. Sits on the wrist just perfectly, uh, and it's a, a little bit lighter as well, so you're less likely to uh, notice it at, from wearing it for a long time. Okay, so that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. 
That's what it's all about, and this was the Christopher Ward C61 Trident.